All right, it's time for us to try cow. This is the one that we've already seen. And I was so baffled by it the first time that I was like, maybe I should scoot back to the beginning and start in order. I do think the first one was the easiest one. So it's cow. Uh, class is test maker number sign. A titanic quadrupedal ro robot. <laughs> I noticed that I've been uh, slurring some of my words when the la the creaker was blind, blind something, a blind predator maybe. I said a blonde pre predator. <laughs> a titanic quadrupedal robot does not have a face. Instead, it has a large rotating circular segment placed in the middle. It appears to be extremely patient and has not yet observed to express any aggressive behavior while idle. It appears to ask questions and go on monologues about philosophy. Its intentions are still not known. It communicates using the large spinner on its face. You know, it says it's not aggressive, but it did kill me. I'm pretty sure the first time I tried. <laughs> Although I suppose it wouldn't have been idle while I was communicating with it. I love that so much. Honestly, I just, I can't get over that design. Okay. So that was location. Um. Ah! <laughs> so I'm still a little bit fuzzy. Okay, Cal will need to be satisfied by answering its questions. They seem to be philosophical in nature, particularly about the universe. The goal is to answer its five questions using the spinner. You have three strikes. The spinner will eventually become sluggish and erratic, because, you know, I totally need that. If you do not lubricate it thoroughly, it will eventually become stuck, causing the cow to misinterpret it and attack you. So that must be what those three things at the top are. I remember pressing them last time. Okay, location. I could say universe. I'll try and do it fast so it's like positive about the universe. Oh! I hit the menu button. I... <sighs> I think I was going for escape there. Okay, so I said I was gonna do, ah, universe, quickly. Hopefully that was quick. Oh, that must be a strike. It does not like that answer. I think I'm gonna really feel challenged by this one a lot. We're in the good universe. Maybe I thought it was philosophical enough for you. <laughs> Shit, I was not looking enough. That must be slow. Okay. So it looks like it did amount and then condition, but bad or far. I'm going to try and say entity. It's just, it's bullshit because it's like I have to start at the top there, which would be location. Or change. Maybe I should work with one of those two. Amount entity. I'm gonna say location quickly. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. It's still kind of freaky though when it leans its head down. But I didn't get a strike. What you gonna say, boy? Okay. Okay. So, amount, and then it did the back one. It did it both ways. And just returned it to there. Amount and amount. I could also do opposite if necessary. Oh, I'm allowed to say multiple things, right, because it says multiple things. So I'm starting in the left position here. I could do amount, I could do chain, I could do location, amount and location. I could do, all right, I'm gonna do location to reason slash question. And I'm gonna go slow for location and fast for reason and question.
No, it did not like that. I might have to look up some help with this one. I don't like the bouncing when it attacks. Because, <laughs> like, it jostles me away from that. I get the uh, atmosphere of it. So that you, like, kind of understand the scale of this creature you're trying to communicate with. Okay, all the way around. Oh, shit. Okay, I hope that was it. Uh, so it was Entity. And I'm at the bottom. I'm gonna say Condition. Oh, well, I'm gonna die. No, I'm just a baby. He smushed me. I was not careful with what I was saying. I must say, I think I was careful with what I was saying. It's not my fault that I... I might have to do a little research just into how to start somewhere that your spinner is not already started. You know what I mean? Like, here the spinner's in the top position. And if I wanted to start something, like, down here in the bottom left corner... But this is a circle, there are no corners. In the southwest section of the circle, if it was a compass. Okay. So that was just a quarter turn. Location. He did not like my answer last time. I'm suspicious of it. There we go. Okay. Um, so it did that last time. So it didn't like when I said use universe. I'm going to say good question. I'm going to go fast and go up to the top on the right side. Oh, it doesn't like that. I keep backing up because I'm expecting it to fling me forwards, but as I back up, it seems to fling me backwards. I'm guessing it just enhances my movement. Okay. So that was amount and then very slowly condition. It's a bad condition. I'm gonna say far universe. So very slowly say universe. I think I did that one last time, too. I wonder if his questions change. Ooh, I can't stop yawning, excuse me. I started a new job, um, and it starts at 7 in the morning, and I was working evenings before. So it's a bit of a change. Amount? Amount is what it looked like could be a mount and reason. I wish that it would show where it left off. A mount and then question. I think it was a mount and then question. So I'm at the bottom. I could say condition. A mount question. A mount question. Um, and I'm at the bottom. I can say condition. And then maybe loyalty. Let's try that. Condition. Oh, never mind. I dropped it and that's all I got. Okay, well that I didn't get a strike for that, so that's nice. I feel like I need to remember what worked. Especially if it's got just five set questions. Then hopefully I won't be doing this forever. I'm just finding this communication system a little less interesting than the other two. So that one was Entity. I'm going to say Loyalty. Or I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to do a full rotation. For the opposite. Nice. So what's that, three right answers? I have to answer it's five questions correctly. Alright, uh, okay, 
over the top. I think that one was loyalty. So I'm not going to say opposite of loyalty. And I am, like, here. Uh, I might say fast condition. And then maybe back up to universe. It is beginning to be a little erratic. Okay, I like that. I don't know how to... Oh! Bye! Oh, that one was fast! The cow has disappeared from all known modes of perception. Nothing was left behind except for its footsteps. Session closed. That one kind of baffled me. And the other ones took me like half an hour each. And how long did that take me? That took me 10 minutes, including when I accidentally restarted because I hit menu. Okay, so we'll do the last one, the uh, totem. It was classified before. Cool. Totem, classified. Date of discovery, June 3rd, 512. So we were discovering ones that had been found in the 80s, but this one is like 1300, oh wait, 1500 years ago. Check out my math. And class unknown. A large pillar, similar to a rectangular telephone pole, regular telephone pole, Christ, has a large, disfigured, gored human head placed on top. Viewers of this object have described it as humanity's reject template and hell's display of dominance. It appears to emit electrical pulses. It does not seem to act intelligently other than it constantly spitting in place. That doesn't seem intelligent. Intentions unknown. It might communicate using electric pulses. Untested. Oh, what the frickin' hell is that? Humanity's reject template. Goals unknown. Unknown. Whoa. That looks like it should be in Doom. Doom is one of my favorite games. I'm gonna go in that little house before I press a button. Oh, it's water. Oh, I can't go in the house. This is the limit. Well, then why put the house there? <laughs> Beautiful sky. I like to sit outside in the evenings in my backyard and read on my Kobo uh, and look at the stars. I don't know Morse code. I feel like I'm going to have to cheat on this one and get a little bit of a clue. Um, seeing as I'm getting no response, which I guess was the point. It seems to emit random electrical clicks. I'm listening, sorry. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much of a pattern. It's like a few at once and then slowly and then a few at once and then it repeats like every like two seconds like that. I'm trying to like hold this down by, and it's not working because I thought maybe I could do a short one and a long one, kind of like Morse code. Beep, 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 beep. That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna look for a clue on the good old internet. I'm wondering, I haven't found the answer yet, and I wanted to put this out here in case I do find the answer. I'm wondering if this is just kind of a, a mystical experience. I saw one person ask if there's any way to beat the last one, and the developer answered. He said, totally, you just need to pay attention and answer the questions right. So I feel like he was talking about the cow. I'm wondering if this is just a mindfuck. This one here. Yeah, I have no goals. I didn't know I could zoom in. Oh my god, just look at that. Also, that's not rectangular. 
Or maybe he said regular. <laughs> he said regular telephone pole, not rectangular telephone pole. God, that's so cool! I just, oh my goodness. Can't get over it. Okay, so I just quickly checked out somebody's video of this, and I stopped before I actually got any proper information, but I can walk all the way up to the totem. I, once I couldn't get into the house, right, I just turned around. I didn't even think to. You know, why would I have thought I could walk into the water and stuff? I don't know. All right, flashes of light appear in your mind. They show alien images of the universe. Galaxies, nebulas, black holes, quasars, exoplanets. They have life, and it was all hidden from us on purpose. They all seem to be amazingly advanced, at least 3,000 years ahead of us. There are alien technologies, computronium, pocket-sized antimatter generators, interdimensional mortars, your perceptions change. It's an existent, existentially macabre experience. You've been transported to a claustrophobic void. Everything is both infinitely far away and breathing directly onto your skin. You sense the surface of an object in your right hand. It's familiar and empty. It's our universe. In your left hand, you feel something different. It's another universe. It feels completely different from ours, like holding your phone normally versus holding onto your phone's future. Pi in this universe is negative 0.23. The speed of light is non-existence. There's no experience even similar to it. Distances are exponential. There's a connection between them, or at least there will be one. They are preparing for a universal war, a conflict over existence, over which one has been blessed with better bodies, with better warriors and weapons, us. The three other entities were sent as a test to see if we were worthy and ready to join the ranks. The first tested relations and pressure. The second deal tested dealing with powerful threats. The third tested morals and reasoning. This one is one of the universe's neurons sent to connect the disparate and distant life forms around the universe. Together they form a universal brain. Its shape is a reflection of a reputation and spirit. This is your call to arms. The time will come for you to fight for your existence. That is so fucking cool. I, I kind of, like, as I said, I was getting the feeling that you didn't actually get to communicate with the totem at the end, but I was not expecting that. I kind of thought it was just going to infinitely spin there and you'd be like, cool, I got to see that horrifying thing. <laughs> I love this game so much and I really think that everybody should go buy it, try it out. It's $5 American. I bought it off of itch.io. Uh, so if you search sh totem, it's made by Shackles, spelled without the C, S-H-A-K-L-E-S. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this developer and see what else they put out.